We're on the move again. We are heading further south. It's just past lunchtime. We've had our morning snorkel. Uh, we've packed the boat up to ready to go and we are heading south down to Karyaku, which is um, part of one of the um, Grenada Islands. We decided to motor a little bit. We also need to kind of rush there as well. As Adam has mentioned, there is a bit of um, a bad weather band coming towards us, which means that we have about three and a half days to actually get to um, carry a coup before any bad weather kind of hits us and this bad weather is scheduled to hit us in four days so we are cutting it mighty close which is why we are motoring to make sure that we actually get there in time oh no barra naughty barra knows it's nearing its end yeah, I think it, is. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a barra oh. stop it with the barras oh, there we go there we go happy snap Hey, Look at the hey chompers buddy. on this guy. Now. Yeah. Come on. Go. Ah. Gertrude's got a fish. Yay! Gertrude. She can officially be called Gertrude now. Allo. We've uh, we've decided to name all the colours. Red and white is Alfred. We are now on Alfred the second. And uh, our pink one, he's a little bit flashy, is called Gertrude. And if you get a fish worth eating, you get a title. <laughs> so Arthur is well on his way to Alfred. being Alfred. Sorry, uh, Arthur's got to go on the list though. Yeah, I must have to now. Alfred is well on his way to becoming Sir Alfred. Yep. The second. Yes. On another note, how close are the islands here? This is another um, Netherland-owned island called Sin Agustius. I can never know. I never know how to say it, um, but it starts with an E. But so close. There's one. There's the next one. Quite liking this island hopping thing. If only we could actually island hop rather than leap as we have to now. Yeah. First line's always the worst. Gap pole required? Nah, I didn't get away with that. My money's on Barra. Oh no! We're so far out! What are you fishing? What is it? It's tiny! Nah. You'd think you're fishing off a jetty. What are you doing out here, little guy? You're supposed to be... Tucked up safe in bed. Yeah. It's not a lot of. We get a feed, but. Yeah. It's not worth the life. Let's see if we can hold on to this one. Oh, this could be the, this <laughs> could be the win. The Mahi Mahi you've always been waiting for. It's going to be ba Lord Bartholomew III is about yeah. to be born. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's so far away. Gaff Hole is at the ready. Oh, it's like he's moving hard again. I swear that's Mahi Mahi, I swear. It's so colourful, I swear. Come on! Please don't leave us! Oh, he's huge! I'll be so devastated if he goes. I'll be so unhappy. Oh. Wait! Oh, hello! Just started swimming around a bit. Oh, he's running, he's running hard. No, the clutch can't keep up. He's running so hard. Shit. Don't you do it. Well, hopefully that was the last of his run. Come on, buddy. Just that last little step. Oh, 
look at the color. So beautiful. Yep, a dolphin fish. Oh my god! All right, All right. ready to pull? Okay. Yes! <laughs> Ooh, look at that magnificent creature! The first of what I hope will be many dolphin fish. So good. What a fight! For so I would have sworn he was as big as you, Kiara. Yeah. Wow, my hands and arms are knackered. This thing is spectacular. Show a proper sideways view of it? Look yeah! At, look at that! Wow. So good. Good job! This is going to be great. Justin and I was wondering, what, what should we cook us tonight? Yeah. Hey, hey! He jumps onto our plate for us. I have no idea. Okay, Sorry. I know that for everyone watching this, we are absolutely butchering it. However, this is probably our first big... First and largest job, fish. So <laughs> <laughs> just don't judge us just yet, okay? We'll get better, I'm sure. Adam, the lure now needs a name. <laughs> since he caught us he a fish. He caught us a fish worthy of a meal. And the almost almighty he fish will we will now henceforth be known as Lord Bartholomew the First. <laughs> he is the only royal on board and he bloody well earned it. That fish was awesome. I can't wait to eat it. How was it? How did it go? Uh, I don't know, I haven't eaten one yet. Definitely not. Oh, yeah, up. That turned out better than I thought it would. And I had pretty high hopes. Oh, that was really good. Good job. Mm. Oh, mahi Mahi that. cubes. Yes! So oh, good. This, this needs to be it. <laughs> Wouldn't be right. <laughs> shift change it's 6 a.m. in the morning and last night we actually had a, uh, a fairly good night the wind uh, behaved itself a little bit um, and we managed to sail with like 12 knots of wind maybe which is pretty good the seas are still pretty flat because it's just been so calm the last few days none of the swell has picked up at all so it's actually not too bad out there um, we have 100 miles to go though which is pretty good out of our, th I think it was 325 mile journey, we still have 100 miles. We've passed Martinique and Dominica, which is where this hurricane was expected to hit. Um, they're, they're like, we've just passed them though. So, which is why we're kind of glad now to be sailing and have our sails up and we don't necessarily, so we're not gonna necessarily take our time, but we will, um, it's okay if we do less than three and a half knots now, you know, <laughs> or a little less than four knots maybe. We don't actually need to rush there. I'm gonna lie down now in my spot and pretend I'm not asleep and set an alarm for uh, every 10 minutes just in case I have to fall asleep. Myself. <laughs> Looks like we've come far enough south that we will avoid any drama and so we'll just have to leisurely cruise the remaining 85 miles to carry a coup. Meanwhile I'm pretending to be on shift but also being lazy and sleeping. No, not sleeping. I've just woken up from my, from my sleep. Um, it's 6 a.m. in the morning. Adam's had an eventful night. This morning we had a flying fish leap into the boat. 
via a ricochet off the roof what that happened? left a scaly print <laughs> and just about <laughs> took me out in the, in the process. How did it go? It just bounced off the corner there and just started like flittering around here. <laughs> and I was sat here and I was like, what is that? And it's pitch black dark so I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> so I'm scrambling for my phone and then I, yeah, figured out that it was the fish going nuts. Oh. So I think I got it back in the water before it died. <laughs> um, and we also got a text, I got a text through to the home, home base with the travel sim and the um, Hurricane Isaac is um, still, still tracking 270 degrees to make landfall in the Lesser Antilles, uh, Dominica through to Martinique. Um, now, Hurricane Isaac as of 11 o'clock. This storm is at 75, 75 miles an hour. It's moving towards the west. It will move over the uh, Lesser Antilles, which are right in through here. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we've allegedly come far enough south, we're going to go ashore and carry a coup and check in and get a local SIM card so we can keep abreast of the situation. But uh, none of the islands south of Dominica are on storm warning or storm watch, so I think we're okay. <laughs> Whale, and I've never seen an underwater volcano, so I have no idea what is this. Apparently, it was a whale. I um, I saw its head pop out. Uh, it did like a little splurt, and then its head popped out. But I was a little bit concerned that it was also an underwater volcano because um, a little bit further on down the Grenadines, they have an underwater ex or they have an exclusion zone, which is because of an underwater volcano. So I was a little bit worried that we were getting too close to that. Checked on the map, we definitely weren't. And so, yeah, it was a uh, it was a whale. My first sighting of a whale, which is pretty cool. We have arrived. Finally. Finally. After three days and three nights and 325 miles, give or take. Yep. At lunchtime, it will be the third day. The end of the full third day, and then the fourth. Yep. I'm pretty happy. We we really yeah really hoofed it down here. Thank you, Millie, for doing us doing us yes. proud. Not breaking. Didn't. Nothing's broken. Oh, we've got a mile to go. Oh. Don't touch wood. Touch wood. We are going to anchor in a place called Tyrell Bay. Um, we're just able to view it now out there, and it looks like the busiest anchorage we've ever seen. So many new friends to make, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So I was going to say we'll uh, we'll put an anchor down there, and uh, we will need to go to immigration, and then we will sleep. I want to sleep so long. Thank you.